So we're back in Banner Saga, and uh, yeah, a game which I, I probably don't really know how to play that well. We're sort of playing it Iron Man style, but you know, we're still having fun. We finally arrived at Borsgard, and it looks like uh, it's just surrounded by the bodies of Dredge, Val, and Ben. Apparently, someone's jokingly saying to excuse the mess from above the gates. There's a striking Val, his faith wreathed in black hair. Movement at the gate catches your eye, Dredge is still banging at the gate doors. So we asked him to let us in. Apparently Sig Bajorn knows who he is. The guy we rescued from that mead hall. And uh, wow, that, they let us in. I guess alternatively if we hadn't had him, maybe we've had to fight our way in. That's the interesting thing about this game. We definitely have to try again afterwards. So they may just know that they brought a men there. <laughs> he just wants to know where the mead is. <laughs> Shrugs apologetically. I guess the mender will do. Either we've got a chance or we're completely screwed. Well, we decide to introduce ourselves. Ask if he's in charge. He's in charge of the governor. If you have something to tell him, say it now, otherwise you're on your own. I don't care where you go, but search is probably the only reason you'll see me again. It won't be to talk. Hmm. Okay, they've all gone to uh, speak to the leader, and yeah, we're worried that it's going to be just like uh, Frostvilla all over again. <laughs> the Ravens, it depends who they're working for. Hopefully it really is the governor, not someone trying to struggle on their way into his seat. I guess we wait for the Mender to tell us if he comes back. What about the army of refugees we brought who don't belong here? Oh dear. Oh dear, because you have to leave quickly. City guards. The ravens are all they've got left to defend the city. Are they some sort of mercenaries? Wow. Oh yeah, Bello is after us. I forgot about that. That could be a problem. Let's keep that to ourselves for now. We're going to head to the docks to see how we're going to escape when, uh, you know, things get ugly. So, it's also a market. Or we could buy a bit of food. Maybe we'll buy... Well, it's hard. The thing is, our party is just too big, I think. I think that was my mistake. I made a party which is just too big. Is there heroes? There it is. Just, I want to get an upgrade in because we're, we're getting trashed in the fights, as I recall. So we seriously need to upgrade, uh, upgrade some heroes. Let's see. Could go for Ivor. It might be better to go for Crummer, the war leader. Who are alternatives? So we lost the other big guy, unfortunately. Hmm. It's probably worth upgrading him for five points. And I think we'll go for boosting up his armor so he can survive a bit longer. Hopefully tank some damage for us. And we do have some items. But sadly, not that we can equip. Perhaps we could promote Oddleaf. We should probably promote Rook, though, because we, we probably know he's the one who's go definitely going to survive, isn't he? Because he's the hero. Well, we assume he's going to survive. We don't know. So let's promote him. Costing all of our remaining renown. And I think we should give him uh, a bit more armor some more exertion so he could use more points for his willpower he's over half his willpower now so we have to keep an eye on that can we do we have any better items he can carry we have a plus three willpower one which is pretty good and what does this one do plus three armor break that's pretty good as well we'll keep the plus three armor break I suppose what does he have we gave him Two strength deflected plus two drawing aggro. Maybe better to go for something else. What does this do? Plus three strength. I don't think that's going to help him very much. Plus three armor on rest plus two drawing aggro. Probably best just to go with this, isn't it? What did that do? Knock back on strength attacks. Pity we don't have higher level people because we could easily like uh, use all these items. 
If only we had more renown. I should play better. Oh well. Maybe if I kept a smaller party, we wouldn't have had to buy as much supplies. I could have leveled up more people. So we've only got two days supplies, even with all that. It's not ideal. Let's go to the docks, though. Not a long shit to be seen aside from Rex. Oh dear. What happened here? I guess they were destroyed. So the governor's here and he's hiding. <laughs> so everyone with the ship and any uh, any brains left, which makes sense. Food is scarce. Yeah, things are going to get ugly. So the governor's playing the Romans to protect him against his own people and keep the peace. Oh dear. <laughs> he promised him the men of protection at Aberang. They're going to start tearing the place down to build new ships. That's a good idea. Why are people living? They're going to die. He thought it could take as long as a month. Pedro's going to be here in a week. What do we do about Bellower? He doesn't know. <laughs> okay, we're in serious trouble when the big red guy comes, because um, he did absolutely trash our, our other guy. Although, we didn't have the whole party, so we don't know. We could have been able to do it. Ivers standing on the city walls overlooking the fields, dread to keep in the distance, but continue to gather. Hmm. They're building up another army. So he says he's okay, even though he lost an arm. Feels like someone cuts a break every now and then. If we want to be standing a month now, we're going to have to be prepared. What do you have in mind? Plans we need a place to stay, they'll get torn to pieces on the streets. So he, he's going to keep an eye on the dredge and they break through the walls we're done for. So we can help him hold them off. We need to know who's controlling what and get our cut, food's going to become scarce. And we're going to have to keep people away when we build the ships. Well, we're probably going to have to be pretty mean here because we know we want to survive and we want to get our guys out of here. So he's leading the attacks with Evan every time the dredge gets too close to the gates. We'll lose fighters and bars every day like this. I don't need to tell you what happens if nobody's manning the wall. We could always use help. Should I find a source for supplies? So it's going to take a full day. Well, we're very short on food, so I think supplies. And then we'll help defend the wall. Let's go find a source for supplies. Ollie's checked around, nobody has food or won't part with it at a fair price. Medicine's been gone for days, either gouging the prices or it's plain gone. It's going to be a serious problem. So, we can scour the city for anyone willing to self plug, we just shake down the places that seem to be holding out. I think we have to shake down the places which seem to be holding out. You join Oddly to the biggest mead halls, determined to make some sort of deal. You can tell a few of them have food to spare, but the ample number of bodyguards here will make it clear that they don't want to share. You can tell Oddleaf is about to snap. Resolve yourself to a fight. Well, it's time to try and actually win a fight. It's probably just going to be the two of us versus, which is not going to be ideal. Ugh. Okay, we lost a load of guys. I thought we were, we were going to going to fight. I don't quite understand what happened there. We must have misclicked. It's a lot more dredge. We need to defend the walls. Um, let's go with oddly to a location on the note. Let's join defend the wall because he thinks it's about to go. Okay, so we're going to try and win this fight and then uh, help Oddleaf search for supplies. I guess we'll bring Alette this time. Hopefully we can win this relatively easily. Hmm. And then uh, with the Renown we can always buy supplies at some extortionate rate. Oh dear. If it's really going to take a month, I don't know how we're going to make it. Because it's going to take uh, forever. Oh, you cannot be serious. 
I do not know how we're going to take this many big guys. Oh dear. It's very bad. Well, we're going to have to make do. There's not much we can do about it right now. Oh, whoops, I moved him too far. They're going to move first, so they should be able to make a little bit of room. Oh, we're going to lose this fight. <laughs> because our bad morale, we have minus one willpower. Also all my fault, I accept. Who's going to move first? One back there. Well, that gives us some chance at least. So our special is one which knocks them back. It's not going to be especially useful under the circumstances. We need to break their armour and then weaken them. Here we go. When's this guy moving on the move order? Moving relatively late. Could probably afford one more one more hit on the armor here. <laughs> We're gonna get absolutely crushed fighting this. Oh yeah, this annoying little slinger guy. Ideally, we, we try and hit that massive block of guys with the lightning thing, but I don't think it has anywhere near the range. So for now, we'll just uh, try and keep with our other guys. Gonna more or less have to rely on our archers to, to take this guy out. So we can do up to 8 damage here. When's he moving? So we'll have two more hits, so we can probably afford to just do a normal shot for now. Look has quite a lot of armor break, which might, might help us. Oh, she doesn't do much damage, does she? Shouldn't really have taken her in the end, that was probably uh, an error as well. He's going to move next, so we definitely need to get rid of some more of his armor here. So we're going to get going down to one strength with another hit, which we should probably do. Oh, he's going to summon someone. That is an annoying ability. So we probably want to move somewhere like there, because that will limit their ability to move, I think. Go for his armor, I suppose. Oh, there we go, a bit of chain armor damage. That could make a difference. I have to try and take advantage of that. If we can stand there... Who's moving next? The guy back there will make a move and get a hit on him probably. And then the slinger will make a move. And that guy will make a move. So we've got plenty of time in between. So we could probably move in. And get, well, hmm. Maybe we just want to be ready here. He's not doing very much unfortunately. Oh, we're going to take a hit here. Ouch. Five? Ah, oh, it's absolutely absurd. Absurdly high damage. So we'll go for an arc lightning. I guess on this guy. Go for max damage. Oh, it didn't chain. That is incredibly annoying. When's that guy going to make his next move? This is the guy powering up. So we've got time to finish him, I think. We need to get rid of armor on one of these guys. Maybe that one. 
Well, actually, we should probably take, get rid of one of the ones more likely to cause us problems. Then this one will decrease armor on the ones all around him. Oh dear. I have to go for the armor break, I think. Go for the full armor break. There we go, got a bit of hits on all of them. She can apparently shoot from there, which maybe she should do. Oh, she can't hit him actually. Just to move at least as far as there. She can take him out. Sadly, that means they're going to have another move. They're probably going to be able to kill this guy pretty fast now. Unfortunately. Who's moving next? That guy. That is uh, a problem. Guess we need to knock him back. If we can. So do some armor damage at least. Uh, he's going to do a lot of damage back to us though. He went for the armor. Some relief at least. Next item move will be that guy who can't do anything. Then this guy. It's going to cause a lot of damage. At the moment all we can do is hit him for one. Guess he might as well just finish off his armor then. So we need to kill this guy really. Hmm. Might be impossible. But we can do 10 damage apparently. We can make that 12. Oh, that should help a little. Oh, he's going to summon someone. God, that's always summoning someone. You just have to keep like uh, pounding away at them. Who's moving next? Shooting guy and then the guy behind down here, who is probably going to be able to get a hit. Problem is I can't see how far he can cast his ability. Well, I guess we need to slot him in somewhere relatively safe. I think that's relatively safe. Then we can try using his arc lightning ability. I guess we should try and hit the big guy really. Come on. We need to get that to chain at some point. Oh, it's going for the armor. That's not good. This guy's going to move next. He's going to do quite a bit of damage to to our dude here. But we'd have to move to where we could be hit in order to fight back. I think he'd probably do a lot of damage to us. So, I guess we can't really do that. What are our alternatives? That guy, summoning guy, is not going to go for quite a while. So we should have a chance to shoot him. That guy will go and probably do a lot of damage to our dude. And then that guy will go. Who's got lots of armor? We could probably get rid of the armor on this guy. With a solid hit. I think that's probably what we should go for. So at least it should chain damage the guy next to him. It's going to hurt here. Oh, he's gone for the armor. It's a bit of a surprise. Now this guy's powering up. I sort of want to stop him as cheaply as possible. Our spearman could take him out. That guy's going to move. That guy's going to move before our spearman. So we might want to move her. She can take him out. Solid six. I just can't have them summoning is the problem. This guy's going to move next. He's on nine armor. So I could hit him for six. 
Which I think I probably should do to limit the damage he's going to deal. Ooh. Okay, that was a bit of a surprise. I wasn't expecting that. So he's knocked us back. That guy's going to move next. And then the slinger. We can just about reach our spearman at the moment. What to do? We've only got four strength. So the most we can really do is damage his armor. But we do need to damage it. I think we have to go for it. That way someone else might be able to kill him at some point. Oh, he's going to kill us, isn't he? We could bring this guy down to one health. Might help. Ooh, he's gone for our mender, unfortunately. Now we probably need to put him back so he can't have contact, which means he needs to stand about there, I think. And we can still hit some of them. Though I think if he hits him, he'll do a lot of damage to our guy. Might be okay hitting him or him. When's that guy going to move? It's quite some way off moving. We could restore the armor on one of our guys. Maybe we'll go for an armor restore this time. Might help keep him alive. Oh. Not quite as much as we would have liked. He's got that guy, he's on minimal health. Not really worth killing at the moment. This guy, he's not, not on a huge amount of damage either. Now this guy is going to be a problem. So. Hmm. We can't move too far forward without exposing the mender, unfortunately, but I think we're going to have to. He's starting to run out of willpower anyway, so it might not be that useful. Let's get rid of a fair amount of armor here. I guess armorless now. He's going to summon someone though, as he always does. We're going to have some moves before he gets there, so we can probably afford to go for someone. One of the big guys moving. This is the troublemaker down uh, down here with his 12. That's quite a lot. But I could damage this guy who's moving next. He only has 5 strength, which isn't a huge problem. This guy still has 11. And he's moving quite soon, so I think we need to go for him. Do 5. It's not really enough, but we don't really have an alternative right now. Uh oh. They're wearing him down. And Ivor's fighting this guy, tooth and nail. Probably want to move in the way of him making a move on the mender, which means I think we want to stand there. Now we could go for an armor break, but if we bashing ram. I think that will help. Four tiles for one armor damage. It's okay. Push him away from the fight. Might buy us some time. Uh oh. It's going for our... Ouch. Spearman took a hit there. Loads of armor damage. Wow. So Sling Guy is going to start killing people soon, I think. There's not that much we can do about it. Can't move very far. 9-6, 9-5. It's probably best to take out the armor on the guy at the top, I suppose. 
Someone's probably going to go down here. Oh, the Mender is down. That's a serious blow. So Rook can take someone out or a Spearman can take someone out. Well, I Spearman should probably take him out because if he takes this guy out then I think this guy will be free to uh, summon another man, which is too much for us at the moment. You also want to take out that guy's moving next, then that guy. So what we want to do, well, we could take out the armor on the bottom guy, since we do have a boost to our armor break. It's probably worth it, even though someone else might die. Oh, we have to try. Oh, more armor breaking on us. That's really irritating. Basically works for them almost every time. This guy's going to move next. Can we damage him? We can in fact kill him. But do we want to? He has six attack. He nets a guy with six armor and a guy with nine armor. I don't think he can move through this gap. He only has five armor. That would be a bit annoying if he damages him. On the other hand, I could shoot at this guy and therefore decrease the amount of damage he's dealing to us. I think it's worth it. Oh, he's gone for him. Okay. I guess we need to form up a defensive line. Slinger's going to move next. We can either hit him for one or decrease his armor some more. I think we'll decrease his armor and then hopefully our archers can penetrate. Oh, I thought he was going to go for a let for a second. We lost another guy, which is not ideal. I think we need to take this guy out maybe. He's not going next anyway. Take six damage, need another one of our willpower down. I think it's worth it. So now Rook could shoot him. He has to move to here to shoot this guy. But that would basically finish off his armor. But I could actually just hit him for a fair amount of damage now. Let's see. So we can do four damage. Yeah, it's probably worth it. Five damage even. We can make that six. We need to get their strength below our armor. If possible. Okay, we've got another archer. Or well, we've got their archer. Oh, we could try. Oh no, we're not quite in line. I was thinking about using the thread the needle to hit both of them. We could bring his attack down to three. Also, the moving away might keep him off some of our f guys further back. His armor is straining away before our very eyes. Okay, we're going to move down just so we can limit this guy a little bit more. He's probably going to take us out. I think it's worth it. Oh, he's going to go summon someone. What an absolute jerk. It can be hard to get to him in time, I think. Yeah. What can we do here? This big guy's just going to kill him outright. He even got a crit. Absolutely no advantage to us. Oh, it looks like Rook can't get to him. What about with another pat point? He can just make it. Oh dear. Oh, he can't quite kill him. This is a disaster. He's going to summon another enemy, which we're going to have to deal with. Damn. 
It's gonna be hard for us to cope here. He's just giving him like infinite armor. Because if he did, that was just complete like uh, huge annoyance. Can we forward one and take out the slinger? One down. So this grunt is going to be an issue. I need to do something about him. We'll get a pillage on him if we if we hit this guy. He'll get one hit on us. Probably going for Rook, I guess, but he might kill either. I think since he's undamaged, he can do quite a lot of uh, punishment to us. Oop, don't rest. Don't rest. Okay, what can we do? With one more... Oh. It's too exertion to get to there, so I don't think he can actually do it. Unfortunately. Oh well. He can probably deliver the finishing blow if uh, all goes wrong. So what can we do? We could get rid of his armor. Still stand there and get rid of his armor. What can she do? Oh. It's only shoot by charging into range. Do four, five. It's not too bad. Might buy us a chance. I have has a ninety percent chance of hitting for one. I guess we might as well go for it. Could be the difference between him living and him dying. Our oh, spearman, I think, can get the blow here. So we fought that quite well, I think. A victory for once. Defeating hordes of dredge. Look at all those giant dredge lined up. Alette's leveled up. No one else has. Are we on to a little bit of renown? Ten?